Oh, hi! Hey guys, it's Maggie, and I like makeup. I think we can both agree that sometimes it can be kind of hard. I've been using makeup since I was out of the womb, basically, and over the years, I've developed a lot of tricks. And guys, trust me, it did take years to find these. If you saw my makeup in, like, third grade, I would use that, like, Vaseline-y glitter eyeshadow, and I would just smear it on, and I would wear bright pink lipstick and foundation that was way too dark that it was almost racist. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys some hacks and if you like this video then I can totally make another one. I was thinking this one's more like beginner hacks or like just hacks that I don't know you don't need much skill to like learn how to do but I could totally do another hacks video that's like expert hacks that took me lots of time to practice these ones. As soon as I figured these out I just like but I can totally do another one that's like a little bit like crazier hacks, but I don't know how crazy you guys are feeling with your makeup. So let me know. Our first hack involves our winged eyeliner. And I actually just got this eyeliner, so I'm probably not going to be that great at using it. But it's felt tip, which I personally think is the best for eyeliner. But this one's like a little bit different than what I would normally do. It seems a little bit bigger, but it has a small end. I don't know, guys, I'm not gonna get into that. Cause I have a little scar on my eye from when I fell into a fire, so I normally put it there. I just do ever so slightly. I don't even know if you can see that, but I basically just outline it first. Honestly, like, this is a look. This is such a look. I just fill it in. And I'm just gonna take that and just do a little flick. That's like not that neat, but obviously I did this like super fast, but you can see how like, that compared to just like completely freehanding it. Now I'm just gonna completely freehand this one and try to get it perfect. Actually for freehand, this one came out like okay. As you can see, this one looks like a lot neater and like a lot better and this one is just like crazy because I feel like when you freehand it, a lot of times you tend to go over what you'd really wanna do. And, like and now I'm gonna have uneven eyeliner for the rest of the video. Fantastic! Our next one also involves eyeliner and it's how to make your eyelashes look fuller using pencil eyeliner. You know how you fill in like your waterline right here? Well, a lot of people do that, but what a lot of people don't do is fill in their top waterline, which it makes fake lashes look real, it makes eyelashes look thicker, and it's gonna also make your liquid liner look fuller and it just makes everything look so much better. You're gonna love it. I couldn't find my pencil liner to show you right now but just try it for yourself. Another reason for you to try it, if you put on like more than you would normally put on on your underwater line and then squeeze, it's gonna like perfectly distribute and you're gonna have just as much as you want on both. Our next one is about how to get the perfect lipstick using no lip liner. I use Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick just because it's like the only lipstick that I've ever tried that hasn't come off when I just like breathe. This blue will be good for you to really see. So I like to you know, wipe it off. You don't want too much, especially you really don't need a lot with this. What you're going to do is you're going to make an X shape on your Cupid's bow. So you're and fill that in. Also, tip within a tip. This lipstick can sometimes be kind of drying just because it is matte. So what I like to do is I just put a tiny layer of chapstick before I put on this lipstick and then I put on that lipstick and it seriously doesn't change how long it lasts. It does make it a little bit more easy to come off just because it's not like directly on your lips but the look of lipstick on dry lips is disgusting so this is really gonna work. Wow, I'm really starting to look... There's no word that I can say that's not offensive. <laughs> Our next one is for when you drop a powder compact and it shatters. If your powder is all shattery, all you need to do is take some rubbing alcohol, take a cotton pad and just push it down in. What you could also do is just take your fingers and push it in so it's all compact and then just spray a little bit of alcohol on that. What the alcohol is gonna do is it's gonna keep it together and give it that body that it needs but without making it dirty because alcohol does kill bacteria. Also, if I just need a quick clean, I just use some rubbing alcohol and spray it on my brushes or if my co compact's looking a little dirty, I just spray a little alcohol on that and then I take a cotton pad and just like do it around wherever it's dirty. Our next one has to do with some foundation. Especially when you have like a really full coverage foundation, 
if you put on all of it and then blend it in it seems to like dry up and like clump up and it's really hard to blend what you're gonna have to do is do a little area at a time instead of doing the whole thing at once this trick has seriously saved my skin's life another tip for if you have dry skin is to just get a little bit of castor oil and just put the thinnest layer over your face not only is this gonna fight acne but it's also gonna make your skin so soft without making it oily and your makeup is gonna go on so smooth and you're not gonna have any clumping and it's just so great another foundation tip is if you have a really full coverage foundation almost so full coverage that it can look a little bit cakey but you still want to like stay matte and lock it in you can use some translucent powder as you can see this powder has absolutely no color so when you put it on it's not gonna cake it all it's gonna do is just set it in place but if this was colored then it would add even more coverage and that's just gonna look cakey and gross and you don't want that my next tip has to do with your brows if your brows go in crazy directions like mine just they go wherever they want to go I like to take some hairspray and a little spoolie brush and you spray it on that and you don't want to spray it directly on your eyebrows I used to do it but hairspray is apparently really bad for your skin so you just do that and while it's still wet you just go through and brush your eyebrows you just do a thin layer then you're not even gonna be able to see it and it's so great my next trick is for those of you that like to put on foundation before you do eye makeup and I personally like to do that I just think it's a lot easier what I usually do if I'm not wearing foundation because a lot of times I don't wear foundation is I put tape on my eye and apparently tape is bad for your skin I don't know but what it would also do is it will rip off your foundation so what you can do is you can just take some toilet paper and you get the same exact result you just hold it right there again this you would have to hold it I guess you could like take take a little tape and like tape it to your hair I don't know but personally I only use one hand when I'm doing my makeup anyway so it's not that big of a deal if you don't want like something sharp you can just hold this right there and then that'll catch all of the fallout and your foundation will be fine you just cheated makeup how do you feel all right guys that's pretty much it for this week's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below your favorite hack let me know if you didn't know any of these hacks let me know if you did know these hacks make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every monday thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all next monday bye